my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said great, I'm doing great. I was recently watching some interviews with Florence Henderson who played Carol Brady from The Brady Bunch and I was really shocked at some of the things that she said, some of the things she did in her life and some of the things about her personality. So I thought it might be fun today to go visit her grave, talk about her life and, uh, and then go over and check out The Brady Bunch house. The last time I was through, the Brady Bunch house was still being worked on. They had a big fence up and they had a security guard out front that was always trying to shoo you away if you were trying to take a picture. So hopefully that won't be the case today. We can go see that and have a little Brady Bunch fun. Days with Jordan the Lion and you all, it begins right now. I saw that this is back up for sale for $5.5 million. The Brady Bunch home. This has been, you know, I loved that show growing up, but boy, since I moved out here, <laughs> this has been, this house has been a, a nightmare for me because every time you come by, the, the homeowners that used to own it were not happy with people coming out here. So they had like a big fence and everything up and it just didn't look right. And they would always be looking out the window over here. So then of course the house went up for sale and I believe like one of the guys from NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys was trying to buy it or thought he had bought it. And then HGTV ended up with it. You know, they ended up being the purchasers and they renovated the whole house as everyone knows probably with the Brady kids and they turned it into the house that we saw on TV, which is really awesome. So, but every time that I would come by here after the house was sold, they had a big freaking green fence up over here. And as you saw when we came in, there's a security guard parked right out front. Every time you'd come up here and even try and take a photo, they'd harass you or bother you or try and run you off or whatever. So this is actually the first time I've been here where there isn't some sort of crazy distraction in front of the place and that it actually looks like the way it should on TV. Pretty cool. I don't know if it's... uh. I don't know if it's like an Airbnb deal. It does have a private property thing up there, but I don't know if anyone has been able to uh, to stay in it or what the deal is, but it's up for sale. So if anyone buys it and wants to let your old pal Jordan the Lion do a walkthrough, I would love to. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought because it was up for sale and this is the first time I've ever been over here to where it actually looks like the house from the TV show, I should share it with you guys because who knows, the next person that buys it could change it again. I mean, we've seen that. I've seen that on countless places I've went to, countless filming locations or whatever. You go there and you're like, why would someone buy a house just to change it into something else. So I doubt that'll happen. I think whoever would buy it here would buy it just because they're a Brady Bunch fan, but you honestly never know. 5.5, I believe, was the number I heard. The left side of this bowling alley used to be the Jerry's Famous Deli that Andy Kaufman worked at when he was on Taxi. Florence is buried over in uh, Westwood Memorial, where Marilyn Monroe is buried, and Farrah Fawcett, Peter Falk, uh, Rodney Dangerfield, people like that. We're cruising down Coldwater Canyon right now. Coming up on our left is a really ritzy neighborhood called Beverly Estates. People like Eddie Murphy and Paul Stanley live up there. If you've never been to Westwood Cemetery, it can be a little tricky to find uh, because it's it's a little alleyway in between two high rises and you drive through there and there's a cemetery in the middle of the of everything. All right, I just turned in between all the buildings and there you can see straight past the stop sign where the palm trees are. Pierce Brothers Westwood Village. never actually been to Florence's grave and all the times I've been here I've never found it so if you look for this pillar right near the staircase she's at the very bottom there she is Miss Florence Henderson born 1934 
Died November 24th, 2016. Beloved mother of four, cherished mom to millions. <laughs> Forever in the hearts of her family, friends, and fans. She was interesting because, you know, she was probably known mostly as Carol Brady, but um, she got her start in music, singing musicals and stuff. She was, uh, got her start in something called Wish You Were Here, and she would perform and win awards in theater for years. She, uh, she's probably most well known for Carol Brady, and she was so good at that because she said that she didn't come from a, you know, a very loving household. Her parents had 10 kids, and she didn't really feel like she got the attention she needed, so she always wanted to portray the mother that she always wished she had. And in the first season, they actually had her wearing a wig because her hair was so short from what she had been working on before. What was Florence performing in before she got the Brady Bunch gig? She was doing Oklahoma. See, since she was a kid, since she was like two years old, her mom had started helping her learn how to sing and she was singing all over the house. They used to call her Florency when she was a little girl and she used to actually used to take her up to the grocery store when she was 12 years old and have her sing for money. So she was in Oklahoma living out her dream and then apparently they uh, offered the part of Carol Brady to Shirley Jones and Shirley Jones turned it down and they've had a back and forth their whole life always joking about that part and uh, Shirley would always say well I turned it down because I didn't want to just be a housewife that was pulling food out of the oven I wanted more and <laughs> you know Florence Henderson will say well I'm gonna punch her in the face next time I hear her or see her up for saying that you know and then you know Carol Brady of course became this iconic mother and then shortly thereafter Shirley Jones accepted the part for the Partridge family and then became a mother of five and she said that she thought that was more suitable for her but they were great friends their entire lives also Florence Henderson was extremely good friends very very close with Mary Martin her whole life and said that they loved to perform together any chance they could that uh, there was no um, tribute show or anything that could ever happen for Mary Martin that didn't include Florence Henderson that they were that close and Florence also amazingly won an award for her acting on the in the Chicago theater and was requested to be the first she was a fill-in host but the first female host of the tonight show uh, it was in between the time when Jack Parr had left and before Johnny Carson took on but she was the first host isn't that crazy Florence took advantage of you know being famous because she was on the Brady Bunch from 1969 to 74 she would be asked after that forever to be on these game shows and she loved to do it she was on $25,000 pyramid and password the match game what's my line to tell the truth I've got a secret snap judgment personality who wants to be a millionaire and she was actually the, uh, at one time, was the oldest contestant on Dancing with the Stars. She even had her own cooking show and had her own uh, talk show. She was just always very involved in that stuff. But what's crazy is she loved to apparently talk about her sex life. Um, she wasn't very... Uh, shy about saying that you know just because she was a famous television mother that she didn't love you know <laughs> having relationships and when she was older she was dating a much younger man but she would write about in her book how she had an affair when she was married with the uh mayor of new york and he gave her an std <laughs> i couldn't believe that she would talk about that and then of course you know the uh the long time story was that barry williams who played greg brady claimed that he had a thing for her and took her out on a date and everything and wanted to kiss her and everything and she said you know later on he blew that way out of proportion she said the only part of that that was a date was the fact that barry thought it was a date she said i never took it as a date florence was a spokesperson for everything from wesson oil to polydent for your dentures she also even made a commercial with ozzy osbourne for pepsi twist which i thought was kind of funny 
had a great sense of humor and every time you saw her on TV, very witty, very funny, very likable. You didn't really hear too many stories or I couldn't find any of people that didn't like her or people that had a lot of negative things to say about her. And she always participated in like the reunion shows for Brady Bunch and things like that. She wasn't difficult to work with, but she just, she loved to sing and put out records throughout her career, her own solo records and continued to sing and do theater and musicals until she couldn't any longer. And if you think Florence was done there, you were wrong because she was also a good sport because she was in Weird Al's Amish Paradise video. She was the host of WWE Raw. <laughs> she was in the wrestling community. I just thought that was amazing. And then of course, like I said, she was in the 11th season of Dancing with the Stars. And at the time, or unless it's uh, there's someone older now, for a long time, she was the oldest contestant to be on the show. And a couple of important things that people didn't really know about Florence was that what you saw on the screen was what you got in person. If kids came up to her and wanted to meet her, she would throw her arms out and give them a big hug. She looked at all of her fans as like they were her own children. And not only that, but she was also a licensed hypnotherapist. So there was a time when actually some of the Brady kids would come to her and ask her for help in their lives through hypnotherapy. I thought that was very surprising. I had no idea. That's uh, basically where you hypnotize someone um, to give them suggestions to get rid of whatever bad habits, like say they're smoking or overeating or something like that. You give them the suggestions to um, help curb those. So I thought that was very fascinating. She would be so interested in so many things and throughout her life, she was always doing something, always working for charity benefits. She was singing at uh, race car, like Indy 500 and stuff. She was just always somewhere doing something. Sadly, Florence ended up passing away on November 24th, 2016, as you can see at Cedar sinai Hospital here in Los Angeles. Um, apparently it was heart failure, sadly. She'd been hospitalized the previous day and um, three days before her death, she'd attended a recording of Dancing with the Stars to support her friend, Maureen McCormick, who was also on the Brady Bunch and who was a contestant. And um, she wasn't feeling any ill feelings or anything. And uh, and sadly, you know, just three days later, she would end up in the hospital and pass away. Now, actually, one of her Brady Bunch co-stars is buried out here. So let me go show you who that is. This one will kind of surprise you. Right here. Actor Alan Melvin. He played Sam the Butcher, who used to date Alice. Kind of funny. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog on the great Florence Henderson. I think since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and go around the cemetery and show all the famous people that are buried here for a future vlog. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye. <laughs>